Well, welcome guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is, of course, Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. So quite a while back I had finally finished up the Metroid Prime Trilogy, so it was time to start moving on to the, you know, more traditional 2D-based game Metroid games. So this was the first Metroid game that was released for the Game Boy Advance. It, it also, there was also Metroid Zero Mission. Chrono chronologically, this is the last entry in the series, because this is considered Metroid 4. Uh, there hasn't been a sequel, a really true sequel to this game since this. But, uh, it does take place after Super Metroid. And, well, we're gonna get right into it. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and start Metroid Fusion. So I've played this game a lot when I was younger. It's one of my favorite Metroid games, but I like most of them. Alright, so let's go ahead and start a new file. Here we go. I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. That's the planet where Samus eliminated the Metroids in Metroid 2. She is working with the Federation. What the... What's that thing? It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Ah, so that's why her ship crashed. The ship's emergency systems automatically e ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation AGQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too Im embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to m make the vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. That's the Metroid that saved her life in Metroid 2. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. So we got to, they got to save our favorite bounty hunter. Nice duds there, Sammy. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived. Reborn is something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. Soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO or commanding officer is something I have to bear, as it was the con a condition of my taking the ship. 
For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other commanding officer. So off we go to the biologic research labs. Looks more like an asteroid, with like an orbital ring around it. Eh, this ship isn't quite as cool as a re regular hunter class gunship, but I suppose it'll do. So here we are. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is as a yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Quickly and quietly. You're still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way and uplink from there. Alright, so off to the quarantine bay we go. Ah, it feels good to be playing this game again, honestly. It's been quite some time. Now, interestingly, if you connect this game to Metroid Prime via the GameCube Game Boy Advance connector, you can unlock the fusion suit in Metroid Prime. I think you can also play the original Metroid in Metroid Prime 1 as well. Alright, so let's be on our, on our way to the quarantine bay. So yeah, we don't have any of our abilities at the moment. We can hang from ledges, though, which was added to this game. But we can't even go into morph ball form at the moment. Here we go. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Alright, means we might have to do some fighting. Now these type of doors we can't open yet, those are level zero hatches. We should be able to open them soon though. Wow, this place is a mess. So is the quarantine bay. Hello, enemy. Looks like all the material that was in here is now gone, including the infected parts of our suit. Now, what they did for this game is they made it so that enemies don't drop... Well, they do drop health and missiles in a way, but they kind of changed it. Instead of just picking, like, regular pickups, you have to collect X parasites Because now that Samus is immune to them, she can collect them to refill her energy or her, or her missiles. Regular white ones restore her health, while green ones are, mi are mi for missiles. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. G the gelatinous X parasite invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular make makeup. You will never be infected by X again. Yes, I, I was just explaining this. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so preserve free X parasites whenever you possibly can. The station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. I have released the lock on level 0 hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Okay. So let's start climbing up this way. Now these doors are level 2 hatches. We won't be able to open them for quite some time. So yeah, the X parasites can change into many different forms. And in some cases, they can even gather it into a 
multiple X can, can gather into one subject to either completely change its cellular makeup or reinforce its like armor or something. They can do a lot of neat things, the X. Anyway, yeah, that's the save room. There's a dead researcher. And they turned him into a zombie. Can't go that way. Poor researcher. Can't break that thing just yet, so we'll have to leave it be. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. Okay. With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Alright. Out of my way, zombies. Oops, we can't do anything in there. <clears throat> Up we go. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CO I served under named Alden Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Adam Malkovich, eh? This is a recharge room that'll increase your energy and your missiles back to mass maximum. We don't need it at the moment. Here's the data room. Missile, da missile data downloaded. Hold, hold R and press B. So we start with 10 missiles. Uh-oh, that's not good. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. Yes, I already know that. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Alright, let's get to that target then. We'll have to blast this open with a missile. Then we can go for here. Look at these things. They take three missiles to destroy. Get out of here. Climb up, then jump down here. We got a missile tank. Our very first one. And then there's a second one in the next room. back to that room with the huge wires. Well, this thing is guarding the door. It, fire it fires eye beams at us. We can only hurt it when it's not charging its eye laser beam. Ah, now that's a red X. Uh, a red X parasite. Those heal more health than a regular yellow one. Or a white one, whatever you want to call it. There's our first energy tank. Definitely collect a, a lot of these, especially for this game, because I've found that Samus takes damage a lot more easily in this game than the, than the other games for some reason. 
Ah, now here's our first boss. So he can fire shockwaves at us. He can also brief fireballs and try to he'll try to roll into us. Interestingly, this guy was made a boss in the remake of uh, Sam, uh, Metroid 2. Oh, there he goes. Now, when the main body is defeated, usually it'll turn into a, a free-flying X-Parasite like that. It can only be defeated by missiles. That got us our Morph Ball ability back. So now we can get through some small spaces like this. Yeah, he was actually a boss that was included in the remake of Metroid 2, which I think is pretty cool. It's actually a lot tougher in that game, too. Goodbye, zombies. Recharger. Alright, let's get back to a navigation. as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X-Parasites. Great. Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the ma main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Alright. I'm not sure, but I think whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. have to head to sector one and put a stop to that. Oh, that's a that's a cold room. We can't go in there. Because of Samus because Samus has the Metroid DNA in her now, she's very susceptible 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 to the cold like Metroids are. So good chance she probably won't get to have the ice beam anymore. Down we go. Us? Our suit? Oh, that's creepy. Lovely. Now that is an ex-parasite that's mimicking Samus at her full power in her power suit. Isn't that a lovely thought? Oh, great. Now the power for the main elevator has gone out, so we're stuck down here. Well, let's get down to Sector 1. So here we are, Sector 1. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It'll be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now, listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Alright. Let's kill those X parasites. Right, there's a level two door. So the only way to go 
goes this way. Now, I believe these things here are these blue blobs. I think they're called mock droids. I could be wrong about that. But you'll notice that they just latch onto you and they try to drain your energy. I might be wrong about them being called mock droids, but they, they're a similar idea, I think. At least you don't have to use a bomb to dislodge them. Anyway, here's the atmospheric stabilizer. You need to kill it with a missile. Well, a few missiles. Still have four more to go. Once the stabilizer in the room is clear, then you'll be allowed to leave. Yeah, now see how they've changed from those frogs into these floating armored things? Why are there space pirates here? I don't recall space pirates being on SR388. That's just weird. Well, whatever. realized I, I missed a missile expansion that I could have got. I just completely overlooked it. It was back up the main elevator. It was a morph ball tunnel I could have gone through, but I wasn't thinking of it at the time. Oh well, you can always get it later. So no biggie. Atmospheric stabilizer to go. You can actually see the regular uh, enemies in the background. That's what the X are infecting, then turning into the in the foreground. And yet another missile. Team. Yeah. 
that's the secured gate, just shoot the light and the gate will open. Of course, you can only do it on the side where you can shoot it from, of course. going up against the boss next, I would imagine. Oh, a Chozo statue. I think not. Now, this is a different kind of x core. This one can only be hurt when the eye opens. Generally, you only fight these types of x cores when it has some kind of beam expansion. Just be prepared to jump when you attack its eye, because it'll retaliate with an, an attack of its own. Charge beam ability recovered. So now we can do a charge attack. Cool. Alright, moving on. There we go, all stabilizers online. Now at least we don't have to worry about them spreading through the air ducts. Ah, now this room save room has a secret past this wall. Now, for, there is a missile tank in here. In order to get it, you either need to be proficient at doing wall jumps, or you'll have to wait until you get the space jump and come back here later. I'm not always perfect at it either, but I know I can get it. Save first. So I'm not doing that forever. 